Hello and welcome to mycadsite.com and we're just going to continue with the selection set lesson and first part showed some of the very common methods for selecting objects and this lesson will show a few more that uh, although you might not use them as often are still very useful and good to know. First one is the last option and in this case I've just drawn a circle which was the last object in the drawing and now to erase it I just go E enter and L for last and it'll highlight it and then I press enter to end the command and it's gone so this is good also if you want to move or copy the last object you drew the next one is previous which works in a similar way except it works off of the previous selection set so in this case I'm going to move this rectangle so I've selected it and moved it and now if I want to erase it for example I just start the command E enter select objects and now P for previous and with that it means whatever the previous selection set was it will use that as the selection set for this uh, option so I've just undone the erase undone the move so now I'm going to move a group of objects and show you how okay I've moved these and now I want to move the previous selection set to another location I can easily move them back without having to reselect or remember which objects it was that I moved next option is fence and this is used by typing in F for fence and what it will do is draw allow you to draw a crossing fence like a line and anything that crosses it will uh, be selected so I've crossed the two lines and the rectangle and back into the circle and just like drawing a line point to point to point and then enter and there's my set enter again and they're gone just undo that and that can be good when you're in tight quarters and need to uh, select something just in between a couple of other objects next it's crossing polygon which is similar to the crossing window except this will allow you to draw more varied shapes you just point to point to point and it's not until you actually click that it will s actually enter the point so in this case everything that's within that polygon gets selected and one similar to that is a window polygon where anything that is entirely in between the polygon just once again it's not a left to right or right to left but actually because of the uh, command I gave in this case WP and those ones were all inside the polygon so they get erased another useful tool is cycling and this allows me to select from objects that are in a very very close proximity I do this by holding down the shift and the space bar and then left clicking with my mouse and it'll cycle through these different options so I'm holding it down and you see I click and it changes the line each time and then when I press enter with that one I'll call it semi highlighted and now I press enter and you'll see that it'll turn into a regular highlighted object just like that one and there it's ready to go so last thing I'll show you is just one other option let's say if I want to erase everything that's in the drawing I can do this just by starting up the erase command and selecting everything and in this case I'll use a uh, crossing uh, box so that everything that crosses it will be selected so from right to left the green box means everything's gone and I'll just undo that to show you one other option and that is erase and then type in all and that'll erase all the objects in the drawing space thanks for watching my cad site.com